In connection with the soon-to-be-published book titled Louis D. Brandeis, An American Prophet, author and head of the Constitutional Center in Philadelphia, Jeffrey Rosen, asked me about Brandeis's influence on me. I spoke, of course, about the Brandeis brief and the brief written in the Turning Point Reed v. Reed case. Self-consciously Brandeisian, the Reed brief attempted to document through citation to economic, social, and historical sources the artificial barriers imposed on women by law and custom, suppressing their aspirations and opportunities to achieve. I also spoke of Brandeis as justice, his craftsmanship, sense of collegiality, ability to combine a dedication to judicial restraint with the readiness to defend civil rights and liberties when the values our Constitution advances required it. Brandeis worked hard on his opinions, I responded to Jeff, as evidenced by the number of drafts he composed. He cared not only about reaching the right bottom line judgment, he cared very much about writing opinions that would enlighten other people. I also admired Brandeis, I told Jeff, for his determination to dissent or concur separately only when he felt the public really needed to hear his separate views. Alexander Bickel published a book in 1957 compiling Brandeis's unpublished opinions. Not many jurists, I observed, would go through the hard labor of writing an opinion, then step back and ask, is this opinion really needed? His dissents were all the more influential because of his self-imposed restraint. A further admirable quality, Brandeis's views could change when information and experience showed his initial judgment was not right. 